Hey, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> I'm Jenna, I'll be your student nurse today. Okay. Can you verify your full name and date of birth, please? Yeah, Rachel Pontius, 053003. Perfect. Okay, Rachel, today we're going to be doing a neurologic assessment. So I'll just be um, kind of assessing your gait, your cranial nerves, and your reflexes. Is that okay? Yeah. And then do you have any history of concussions or traumatic brain injuries? Mm-mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you in pain today? Nope. And then um, general survey patients, upright, alert, tan pink in color, um, and look state of age. All right, so first, um, can you verify where we are today? College nursing. And can you verify the day of the week? Tuesday. All right, patient is oriented to person, place, and time. Um, I'm just gonna kind of go out of order, but that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right, um, I'm going to assess your gait. So I'm gonna have you stand up for me, and I'm gonna follow behind you as you walk to the door, and then turn around and walk backwards. Okay. All right. Awesome, and then stay standing for me for a sec. Um, patient's posture was straight, patient's sway was balanced even, um, stride was also even and balanced, and there's one more, but I'm forgetting it, so. Arm swing. Arm swing, Arm swing is opposite. All right, so now I'm gonna do test your cerebellar function. So I'm gonna have you do Romberg first. I'm gonna have you stand in place, arms at your side, close your eyes, I'm gonna come for 20 seconds. All right, perfect, open your eyes. All right, and now I'm gonna have you hop in place. So hop one time on your left foot and hop one time on your right foot. Perfect. Awesome, all right, you can have a seat now. Patient's cerebellar function is intact. Um, presented negative tests for both Romberg and hop in place. There was no imbalance or swaying. All right, um, now I'm going to assess your um, deep tendon reflexes. I'm gonna start with your patellar. Go right at your knee. Ooh. <laughs> that one was happy. <laughs> um, on the right knee, it was a two plus, and on the left knee, I would say it's a three plus. Um, a little bit more active. All right, now I'm going to have you lay back for me, and just all the way back here, I'm going to do your um, patellar reflex. Okay. All right, can I take your socks off? Yeah. All right. All right, and now I'm gonna have you point your toes at the sky. Okay. okay. All right, and I'm just gonna assess your patellar, or your plantar. Yeah. <laughs> All right, perfect. So patient's um, plantar reflex is a two plus bilateral, or no, it's um, negative for the Linsky test because both the toes curl down. All right, now I'm going to assess your um, sensory or your being able to differentiate it. So I'm going to you close your eyes and I'm going to do this as dull. I'm going to do this. That is sharp. Okay. I want you to tell me what you feel. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Yep. Job. You can sit up now. Patient was able to differentiate between sharp and dull stimuli. Um, all right. Am I missing anything else with neurologic? No? Okay. Um, so I'm going to start on your... Well, Glasgow Chemistry. Oh, Glasgow Chemistry. Okay. So patient is going to grab the chart. All right, um, patient is a grade 15 on Glasgow Coma Scale. She's grade four for eye opening, grade five for verbal response, and a grade six for motor response. So 15. All right, now I'm going to assess your cranial nerves. So cranial nerve one is olfactory. Have you had any change in smell recently? Mm -hmm. All right, cranial nerve one is intact. Um, cranial nerve two is optic. So I would do a sound test. I would have you stand 20 feet away, and I would assess your farsightedness. 
Um, so I'd ask you to cover one eye, reach to the lowest line possible, cover the other eye, other eye, reach to the lowest line possible, both eyes are covered, lowest line possible. Expect it is 2020. Um, if you're 2030, I would refer you to a specialist. And then to do visual acuity, I'm gonna have you read number five. Caring is the essence of nursing. Awesome, thank you. So um, patient is 1414 in nearsighted vision. Um, which is intact. So cranial nerve two is intact. Cranial nerve three, four, and six I test together. So that's ocular motor, trochlear, and abducens. Um, so I'm gonna assess your pupils. First I'm gonna assess for size. Oh gosh, I just like completely didn't study the pupil lower shape. <laughs> All right, they are five millimeters bilaterally. They are round in shape. Um, the iris is a light blue. I don't know if we do eye color here, but that's okay. Um, and then I'm gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna shine a little light in both of your eyes. I'm just gonna have you stare straight forward at the wall. All right, patient's eyes are able to constrict, um, direct and consensually. And now I'm gonna have you follow my pen light in towards your nose. All right, patient is able to accommodate. Now, um, I'm gonna assess your recurrent positions, so I'm just gonna be following that pen light with your eyes um, and not your head, so just track. All right, patient is able to um, track the cardinal positions, the six different positions. So cranial nerve three, four, and six are intact. Um, cranial nerve five is trigeminal, so I'm just going to um, assess the different sensations on your face. So six different sensations, and whenever you feel it, just let me know, just say here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna close your eyes. Now, 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 now. Now I'm gonna assess your temporal and master muscles. I'm just gonna have you clench your jaw for me. Perfect, all right, thank you. Um, so patient's cranial nerve five is intact. Cranial nerve seven is um, facial. So I'm just gonna assess and inspect the different facial movements. So if you can close your eyes tightly for me. Now open them and raise your eyebrows. Now <laughs> smile, frown. And puff your cheeks out for me. <laughs> All right, perfect. So cranial nerve seven is intact. Um, facial nerve is intact. So now I'm gonna do acoustics. I'm gonna have you face towards this wall. And I'm gonna have you cover your right ear and repeat back to the word I whisper. Soccer. Soccer. Now cover your left ear and I'll cover your right. Football. Football. Perfect, All right. Patient's um, acoustic nerve is intact. Um, now cranial nerve 9 and 10 are or glossopharyngeal and vagus, which I um, assess together. So I'm going to depress your tongue and just have you stick it out and say, ah. I'm going to look at your uvula and your tonsils. Uh, and actually, I'm going to use my pen light for this. Uh, Perfect. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Patients, um, Uvula moves inward and upwards with foundation and tonsils are present and symmetrical. All right, cranial nerve 11 is spinal accessory. So I'm gonna have you just kind of push against my hands when I put them on your shoulders. Perfect. I'm gonna be pushing against my hand towards um, the left. I'm pushing against my hands towards the right. Perfect, spinal accessory is intact. Um, grade is a five. Um, it can fully, re she can fully resist against gravity. All right, um, now hypoglossal, I'm gonna have you, so, sorry, spinal accessory is intact. Um, now the 12th and final one is hypoglossal. Have you stick your tongue out to each side. Perfect, tongue is midline. Um, and she has voluntary control. And now I'm gonna have you say light, tight, dynamite. Light, tight, dynamite. Awesome, all right, cranial nerve 12 is intact. Um, all cranial nerves present and intact. So is there anything else I can do for you today? Mm -mm. All right, thank you.